Hey everyone, my name is Andung and today I will be sharing one of my absolute favorite Chinese recipes to cook at home. It's Hainan chicken rice or Hainan chicken, Hainan jifan in Chinese. This must be one of the best recipes to cook at home if you happen to have a really good quality chicken or pieces of a chicken at home because it uses that natural flavor of the chicken to the maximum degree. You will see what I mean in a second. I will also be sharing some of my favorite tips, tricks, secrets to make the process of cooking Hainan chicken rice as easy as possible. So let's start. First you get out a big heavy pot, heat it up and we will start working on our broth. Once that pot is nice and hot, nothing inside, no oil, you take some ginger, scallions, leeks, whatever, any kind of onion flavor and put it cut side down inside the pot. You want to char these ingredients just so they release some extra aroma because chemistry, it just works. Then it's time to add some spices. I'm just using some star anise and some white pepper, roast them for a couple of seconds and now it's time to add the chicken. Using a whole chicken with carcass, neck and all will give you the best and deepest broth. I happen to have two high quality chicken thighs lying around so I use those, that is fine as well. Just make sure you have a little bit of bone and or chicken skin because that will add a lot of flavor to your broth. So add your chicken first, then add enough water to cover the chicken entirely and don't forget to add some salt. I am also using a little bit of Chinese five spice powder. Once your broth has boiled up, turn down the heat immediately after that initial boil, we actually want the chicken to simmer very gently, very tenderly. At this point, you should also be seeing some frothy stuff floating on top of your chicken broth. Um, just get rid of it, it's just gonna cloud up your broth. Uh, but I'm usually not too strict about the step, I just take off as much as I can. This is still home cooking, right? So after you're done skimming, this is the kind of simmer I like to see in my Hainan chicken. Just nice and gentle. So while the chicken is simmering, we can start preparing our rice. And you know this dish is called Hainan Ji Fan, Hainan chicken rice, because the rice, if you ask me, is actually the star of this dish, not even the chicken. So first you take some long grain rice, jasmine rice works perfectly. I usually use about one cup per person, which is very, very generous, but also very appropriate for this recipe because the rice is so damn good. First wash your rice. I like to do that with room temperature water in a colander, but whatever works for you. Do it a few times until the water from your rice runs somewhat clear. In the end, just place your rice in a bowl, cover with some room temperature water and let it sit. So now your chicken is simmering, your rice is soaking, and this is the perfect time to chop some ingredients. We are using the holy trinity of Chinese cooking. You will find this in almost every Chinese recipe, and it's ginger, scallion, and garlic. Mince them up as fine as you can and set them aside. We will be using them on multiple stages in this recipe. This should have taken you around 10 minutes or so. You can take your rice now, it's done soaking. You can drain it and just place it in the same bowl and set it aside. The broth is still simmering, it's not completely done yet. This is the perfect time for me to tell you a little bit about Hainan chicken. So the first time... <sighs> so Hainan chicken rice is actually named after the province of Hainan in the very, very south of China. The place that made it popular though is Singapore. In Singapore, Hainan chicken rice is one of the most popular street foods. You will literally see it everywhere. But the first time I actually encountered Hainan chicken was in the actual province of Hainan. In Hainan, it's more often called Wenchangji or Wenchang chicken. So on my very, very first trip to China in 2006, I was actually volunteering as an English teacher in the province of Hainan Island in a little village. And all the locals were telling us, you know what the best local dishes that we have? It's called Wenchangji. One day though, all of us international volunteers got invited to a wedding in the next village. And everyone kept telling us, this is where you can finally taste Wenchang chicken. And we got really, really excited about it. When we arrived to that wedding, we were actually mind blown by how much awesome food there was everywhere. The thing is, coming from mainland Europe, we saw all this amazing seafood and we're like, I don't need your boiled chicken, give me some of the shrimp. So before we could even taste Wenchang chicken, we stuffed ourselves with all that amazing seafood. And of course the chicken was basically just, I don't even remember how that chicken tasted anymore. But of course the people in Hainan knew exactly why they were recommending the chicken to us. Having Wenchang chicken or Hainan chicken rice 
in the actual province of Hainan is always linked to people getting one of these like super happy free range chickens that roam around there and they basically make the best chicken they have in the village. That's why it's always a feast and I should have respected that when I was in Hainan for the first time. Probably one of my biggest food regrets. Okay, enough with the rambling. I think our broth is done. Let's check it out. Okay, so this has been sitting for almost 50 minutes. This should be good. If you're not sure, you can always take a toothpick, poke a little hole into a thick part of a chicken thigh. Normally you should see clear chicken juice coming out. If it's still a little bit bloody, then maybe you want to leave it in for another 5 to 10 minutes. But normally your chicken will be cooked through. Okay, so now is a really crucial time in preparing Hainan chicken. One of the most characteristic things about this dish, Hainan chicken rice, is the firm yet, is the sort of rubbery, firm, springy and texture of the chicken skin. And you achieve this texture by taking your hot chicken and dipping it into ice cold water. Most people will create this ice bath by adding a whole load of ice cubes into a bowl of water. I find that to be highly inefficient. I don't like refilling my ice cube trays. So I figured out a solution. I use cooling pads and it's super simple. Just take one of these cooling pads, put them in a bowl, cover it up with loads of water, then take your chicken straight out of the broth, dump it directly into the ice water, put some more cooling pads on top and boom, your chicken is good. Now all that's left to do is take your broth, strain it and no matter what you do, don't throw it away. You really need this broth for the rest of the recipe. Okay, we're ready to move on with the rice and remember how I said I feel it's actually the secret star of the recipe? This step I think is why. What you do, <laughs> what you do is you take that nice and heavy broth pot, you put it back on the heat, you add a little bit of vegetable oil and let that get really nice and hot. Then you take some of your minced ginger, garlic and scallions and put that into the hot oil. Quickly stir fry them and please enjoy a moment in silence while that awesome fragrance is filling up your kitchen. Once your ginger, scallions and garlic are nice and golden brown, you take your drained rice and put it straight into the pot. Then mix, 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 mix. And then just give your rice about two minutes to absorb all that beautiful flavor. Now we're gonna cook the rice, which we're gonna do using that delicious chicken broth we just made. Since the rice has been soaking for a while, it doesn't need as much water. I used two cups of rice before, so now I'm gonna use Two cups of chicken broth. Pour in your broth and if you have been using a nice and heavy pot like me then it should boil up right away. If not just give it a second and once it's boiling turn down the heat to low and close the lid. Now you want to let it simmer for about 15 minutes and please 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 don't open the lid. What will happen is you will release the moisture and it's gonna mess with the texture. Just please don't open the lid. Ever. No peeking, promise. All right, now the chicken is sitting in its ice bath, the rice is cooking, and we have a little bit of time which is just perfect for fixing up the sauces. We're gonna go with two super classic sauces to go with Hainan chicken rice. One will be like a next level sriracha, spicy and tangy sauce, and the other one will be a super fragrant and savory oily sauce. So let's start with the pimp sriracha sauce. First we're going in with minced ginger and garlic, we're adding a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of sugar, a very generous squeeze of sriracha and last but not least a little bit of that chicken broth. And for the savory oily sauce, this is actually one of my favorite techniques in Chinese cooking just because it's so much fun to do. First you're gonna heat up a little bit of oil. You take your minced ingredients, garlic, ginger, scallions, add just a little bit of soy sauce Then once your oil is kind of getting a little bit smoky on top, you take it off the heat and you slowly drizzle it all over the other ingredients. That sizzle. Finish the sauce with a drop of sesame oil and of course a little bit of that delicious broth. The hot oil extracts all those flavors from the ginger, garlic and scallions. The top layer of that soy sauce actually caramelizes a little bit, which is just amazing. That mm, mm, mm. Your rice should have been simmering and steaming away for about 15 minutes now. This is the time to take it off the heat and just let it rest covered for another 10 minutes. Still no peaking, this is essential. 
You can now get your chicken out of that ice bath, pat it dry with a paper towel and gently brush with some sesame oil. Now get a giant cleaver or just a very heavy knife and chop your chicken up into pieces. This is the moment we are assembling our Hainan chicken rice. You may now uncover the rice and marvel at the result. See, it turned out beautifully if you only did not open the lid. If you did, then you messed it up. Ladle some of that beautiful rice on a plate. Put your chicken on top. Garnish with some cucumber slices and cilantro. The fresh flavors are a great balance to that super savory umami chicken and your super oily heavy rice. Of course, don't forget to dip your chicken into one of those two amazing sauces. And that rice, let me tell you, it's worth the work. So really the way this dish uses the fresh chicken flavor and spreads it throughout the entire meal, starting from the chicken itself, of course, and the rice and the sauces is just amazing. You have to try this at home, guys. It's really fun and satisfying. Another thing that you will actually see a lot in Singapore or in China is this dish being served up together with a bowl of that delicious broth. You can totally do that, it's really good. Add some scallions or cilantro on top. But another thing you can do with that broth is reduce it and freeze it into these guys. And you will always have a delicious Chinese flavored chicken stock in your broth. Ah, frozen stock in your freezer. All right guys, it's time to dig in into your new favorite dish, Hainan chicken rice. I will be making more recipe videos in the future, so do subscribe to my channel. You will not regret it, I promise. And if you have cooked this dish at home, or if you have any questions, of course, don't forget to let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.